today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry 1501 our main focus for today will be october november 2018 question paper we are going to look at question six let us start this is the actual question paper the question says consider the following reaction potassium chloride plus silver nitrate it gives us silver chloride plus potassium nitrate question 6.1 what is this type of reaction we can see that according to the equation we have two solutions in aquas mixing the two solutions we obtain a precipitate which is silver chloride in solid form plus potassium nitrate in aqua solution and we can also see that ions they displace each other potassium comes this side and then silver goes this side so we can say it's a precipitation reaction where there is double displacement double displacement it's when we have two ions replacing each other it's more like a substitution there is a lesson video where we look at different types of reactions i will leave the link under the description so that you can access it now today's lesson is basically based on this question now let us look at 6.2 it says if 2.5 grams of each reagent is mixed in water let us quickly find our limiting reagent so that we can use the limiting reagent to find our product formed which is this precipitate in grams In order to get the maximum mass in grams of this produced, we need the limiting reagent. So let us determine between the two which one is the limiting reagent and find our mass in grams of the product. Normally, what the method I use, I simply place the two reagent on a table. And then you are given that you have 2.5 grams of each then let us go ahead and find the number of moles both of this so n is equals to m over m we have 2.5 divided by the molar mass of potassium chloride the molar mass of potassium is 39 plus of chlorine is 35.5 let us do the same here the molar mass of silver is 108 plus nitrogen is 14 plus 3 atoms of oxygen which is 6 16 I mean so we have 0. 034 mole of potassium chloride 0 0.015 mole of silver nitrate There is a lesson video where we look at the basics of calculating the limiting reagent. Now we consider this number of moles, this step, as the first number of moles. So by determining the limiting reagent, let us start with potassium chloride. How much is needed for how much is needed of potassium chloride to react? this number of moles of sodium nitrate completely 
So we are going to use a molar ratio. Since we are testing using potassium chloride, we are going to say the number of moles of potassium chloride divided by the number of moles of silver nitrate equals to we can see that this equation is balanced so the molar ratio is simply 1 is to 1 so this side we are going to have 1 over 1 the number of moles of sodium I mean silver nitrate that we have it's 0 0.015 equals to 1 divided by 1 is simply 1 so we multiply both sides by the number cos in the fraction, which is 0 0.015. You can see that this will get rid of this. And then we have number of moles of potassium chloride, which is 0 0.015 mole. And then we consider this as our second number of moles needed to consume this completely. We can also see that we have enough. This is actually greater than this. So we can conclude that this is the excess reagent and then this will be our limiting reagent. But we can go ahead and verify quickly. Let us use this number of moles of silver nitrate divided by number of moles of potassium chloride it's equals to 1 is to 1 number of moles of silver nitrate divided by 0 0.034 equals to 1 multiplied by the number cos in the fraction this will get rid of this the number of moles of silver nitrate is equals to 0 0.034 mole. This is the second number of moles that is needed to consume this completely. Now we can see that we only have 0 0.015 and then 0 0.034 is what is needed. So we don't have enough number of moles. Since 0 0.034 is greater than 0 0.015. So this is our limiting reagent. This is our excess reagent. Now with this information, we can go ahead and actually find the number of moles produced of silver chloride. Now the balanced equation is KCl plus AgNO3 will give us AgCl plus KNO3. Now the question is based on the limiting reagent and the substance produced, the, the precipitate. So we are going to use the molar ratio between the two. The number of moles is 0 0.015 it's equals to 1 is to 1. Multiply both sides by the number cos in the fraction. This will get rid of this and then we have the number of moles of the product formed, the precipitate. Now from here we can use n is equals to m over M. The number of moles is 0 0.015. It's equals to, we are looking for the mass in grams. Molar mass is 108 plus chlorine is 35.5. Go ahead and multiply by the number cos in the fraction, which is 108 plus 35.5, both sides. We get that the mass 
in grams it's 2.153 grams so this is the final answer that's it for this lesson video this is Bahula is J thank you very much